Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our continuing saga of the 1.04 patch for Battlefield 3. Be careful what you wish for, last week people did not like our dubstep music, so this week you get breakbeat swing from the 1930s. Oh yeah. So it looks here like you're holding a USAS-12. I am holding a USAS-12, probably the second or third time I ever held one. This is the pre-patch USAS-12, capable of taking on snipers at long range, pretty much killing anybody at medium range, and decimating people at short range. Absolutely, a total, total beast. What made the USAS-12 pre-patch too powerful? Oh man, the splash damage was intense. You could just light up a room and expect to get one or two kills, you know, just minimum. You could effectively take somebody out even at long range. You could snipe with it, which you couldn't do with the buckshot. Die, wall. Yes, the extremely high rate of fire. As you can see, the entire wall is painted with Yeah, that buckshot. just shows how much of a beast it even was with buckshot. And that thing in close range with buckshot was deadly as hell. And for the icing on the cake, pre-patch, frag rounds at full auto at medium-long range. At that point, mostly impractical, but you know, you only need to land one of those hits to take somebody out. So this is a comparison, post-patch versus pre-patch, and uh, in a second you will notice the difference. So what do you hear there? Slow down. So the USAS-12 with frag rounds is now a slower firing beast with a higher degree of recoil. Yeah, the recoil climbs quite a bit, making it uh, also just much much more difficult to take somebody down. The question for you, Ryan, is did you still find this weapon to be useful? The weapon is still useful, it's just not as overpowered as it used to be. It used to be like any engagement you could win with this weapon, long range, medium range, close range, and now you have to be more precise with it, you have to be more careful with it. Like in this clip, I'm really pretty close to this guy and I got hit markers with two shots, he didn't go down. Um, he had some time to recover and even after that, uh, no love from splash damage and, and or killing the other people in the hallway. Now in this clip, typically you would just be able to spam the frag rounds and take out a guy jumping at you like that? Exactly, yeah, normally you just spam and hold down the trigger and so long. And in this last clip, uh, we are demonstrating you can still pick your shots though. Yeah, still, still, still possible to snipe with it. Next up is the Mav Elevator. Um, a lot of controversy about this in the community. Um, yeah, mostly harmless, I would say, but uh, just looks weird. It looks completely ridiculous. I wish they'd bring back the grappling hook from Battlefield 2. I'm into that, because being on rooftops, however you get there is pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, it's where snipers ought to be, I think. <laughs> That's where this guy is. So laying down the spawn beacon, getting that, uh, M98 going. Yes, doing everything that the community hates to see someone doing. And actually getting some kills out of it, too. I mean, it, it just goes to show that being on rooftops as a sniper is a, it's a fun activity. And you can put down a spawn beacon and parachute if you're talented. Yes. Now, with the patch, if you are standing on the MAV or if you're sort of center mass prone on the MAV, it will not take off. However, with a little bit of uh, a little bit of finesse, uh, you can actually get it to move. As we we're about to see here. Oh, and now voila. the Mav is all up in your character. Yes, yeah, so if you ever wanted to see the inside of your character, this is another way of doing it. So Mav elevator um, still possible post patch. Yep, still totally possible. However, EA has said uh, one of the developers from EA said that uh, it's possible that stats could be wiped if you were caught doing it. Next up, we have the Mav roadkill. Oh, the Mav roadkill. The reason everyone truly hates the Mav. Also known as the Mav molest. Yes. Pre patch recon used to be able to hop into their Mavs and buzz around for literally an entire match harassing you and your team. Absolutely. Now, this last clip is just to show how far away from the action you were. <laughs> yes, I was on the complete other side of Dam of Van Peak. So this is post patch. Yep, here we go, flying in, getting the kill, and boom, Mav should be destroyed. But Mav is not destroyed. Nope, still going. Battlefield 3 patch, it mostly works. I was so excited, slash disappointed, <laughs> when I succeeded in that. 
this uh, this crossfade is because it was a continuous ghost. This is the same Mav life. Yep, that was the same Mav life. Two kills in a row, then it finally died. Did you find this to be the case consistently? Yes. So Mav can now take out more than one person, but possibly done it too. This final clip is to show you the upgraded power of the APC main gun and tow missile combo. This is going to make a huge difference in armored engagements. So coming around the corner here, front armor of a main battle tank. Lower right side, side armor of an APC. Both get hit markers at the same time. And both are destroyed at the same time. So, tow missile, now the equalizer, yeah? Definitely the equalizer. If you can take out a main battle tank pretty simply with, with one of these IFVs, then dang. I gotta say, Ryan, in this piece, you should never give them your backside. <laughs> but doesn't matter, you got a tow missile. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was winning engagements where I was at an extreme disadvantage, like this one where I was about 50% health on the vehicle and still taking fire. The armored personnel carrier to your right basically got first hits on you. Yep. Tow missile and destroyed. That APC did have some previous damage. It was, it was damaged, but it should have had me dead to rights. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you the less useless EOD bot. Oh, the EOD bot. When will you ever be useful? Post patch, the EOD bot was one squirrely mother. Oh man. I mean it was fun it was fun in the beta when people didn't know that they could get blowtorched by it and sort of ignored it. Yeah, that was that was pretty hilarious. Torching somebody who just didn't see it coming was about the best thing that ever happened with the EOD bot. But then people realize it's easily spotted, hard to control, and easy to destroy. Oh, the handling was so terrible pre-patch. Oh, my God. So what is the handling like post-patch? The handling is about 100 times better. It, the, you know, the steering style is sort of like one of your main battle tanks. And it's just a lot tighter. It's not perfect. You'd still spin out a little bit, but... Uh, way more responsive than it used to be. It used to be you're just doing donuts by accident. Well, that's it for this look at the Battlefield 1.04 update. If you would like to see more comparisons in the future, please say so in the comments below. Next week, we'll be getting on to the Xbox 360 and looking at the new Rent-A-Server feature. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.